Good morning everyone, great to be with you this morning. It's uh, Monday morning and we're in our daily character studies of, of the people in the in the Bible. Um, today for me it's Sunday evening, it's half seven, it is probably 28 degrees still outside. Callum's outside still playing in his paddling pool. It's great, I, I love warm weather. I'm in the, I used to call it the garden room but it's now called the, the sweat box because it's absolutely roasting in here. But before we start, can I ask you a question? What's the most embarrassing thing you have ever done? And while you ponder that, here's a few embarrassing things that have happened in history. In 1788, the Austrian army killed 10,000 of its own soldiers by accidentally attacking them. Whoops. The Dutch discovered Australia 100 years before the British, but they chose to ignore it because they thought it was a useless piece of of desert. Whoops. But Russia sold Alaska to America for two cents per acre because they thought it was a useless piece of tundra. It took 170 years or so to build the Tower of Pisa, which we know is called the Leaning Tower of Pisa because after 10 years it started leaning over. Decca Records rejected the Beatles because they told them they weren't good enough. I think they regretted that. And 12 book publishers rejected the Harry Potter books because they said they weren't good enough. There's a few embarrassing things in history to ponder. Today we're looking at a biblical character and we're looking at the first man who ever lived, Adam. And that's my dog barking outside. Um, What's the, what comes to mind when you think about Adam? Well, he's, he's the man that made the biggest mistake ever, didn't he? He disobeyed God and he ate the apple in the Garden of Eden. And what a big mistake that was. And there's 8 billion people on planet Earth today. And in history, that's, they think there's been about 100 billion people that have ever lived. A large majority of those people have heard about Adam and they know or well, they've heard about that one big mistake that he made. Embarrassing for him that everyone knows of his very large mistake. Adam had to live with the fact that he lost paradise. Adam had walked with God in the, in the cool of the, e of the evening in, in the garden. And Adam had lived when it was perfect, when it was pure, when it was without sin, when there was no death, there was no pain, there was no disease, there was no sickness. It was completely perfect. And Adam made a mistake and he blew it. He, he blew it for himself, but he also blew it for everyone as well. And Adam had to live with that fact. And he did live. He lived for 930 years, knowing that he'd lost paradise. And he would have seen his children being born and their children and more children being born into a world where it wasn't perfect anymore because he'd blown it and he'd lost it. He would have had to see them growing up. And these people that he'd seen growing up, he would have realised that there's, there's, because of his actions, there was consequences. That they'd lost paradise, they'd lost perfection, and these people would have never known it. And they would have grown up in a world where there was sickness and sin and disease and hatred and, and anger. And the consequences were there to work the land and it became hard work, backbreaking hard work. And the weeds were growing up everywhere. He wouldn't have known this when it was perfect. How did he react to this situation? What did Adam do? Well, did he sit around sulking? Did he sit around with regrets, being guilty and, and being miserable, feeling guilty for what he'd caused? Well, most li likely he did, but there would have been a time when he realised that, actually, I need to move on. I need to get on with living life while, while I have breath bef before I die. To carry, to carry on and to get on with living life. As much as mistakes are bad choices, we also have a choice of how we move forward. We can make a choice to not have regrets, but to, to move forward and to not make the same mistake again. Or we can be sulking and miserable and thinking, oh, how can God even love me with all the mistakes that I've made? Adam made a choice to, to crack on and, and to move forward with his life. Our past, our bad choices, our mistakes, they can weigh us down. They can hold us back from moving on and moving forward. 
Uh, one thought to bear in mind is that when God calls it, called us to follow him, he knew all of our mistakes. He knew every mistake we made in the past and he knows all the mistakes we're going to make tomorrow and in the future. And even though with all those mistakes, because he's a God who's all-knowing, he still loves us unconditionally and he delights in his children. The Apostle Paul said this in Philippians 3, 13. He says, but one thing I do, but one thing I do, forgetting what is behind and straining towards what is ahead. I press on towards the goal to win the prize for which God has called me to heavenward. If Paul can say that, remembering what Paul did in his life before he became a Christian, he persecuted the Christians, he had them murdered, he chased them around Israel at the time and beyond to capture them and put them into prison. And yet Paul, you'd think he could be the most guilty person ever. But he said that, forgetting what is behind and straining towards what is ahead. He pressed on towards the goal. We need to forget and forgive ourselves and to move forward and to press on and to serve God with all of our hearts, all of our lives, so that other people will know the truth of his grace, his forgiveness and his mercy. Have a great day, everybody. Enjoy the heat, the sunshine and um, have a good day. God bless. Bye bye.